Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. Here's your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. The Sun-Times Christmas present may be new owners. Sources tell Cranes a group of investors is close to buying the newspaper company for $20 million. A deal could close as soon as Monday. Former Tribune publisher Timothy Knight is expected to be named chief executive of the new company that will own the paper. Merrick Ventures' Michael Farrow is heading the group. Other investors include Madison Dearborn Partners Chairman John Canning. The buyout would not only include the Sun-Times, but also suburban papers and the pioneer press chain of weekly papers. The Sun-Times had been owned by the Mesro's James Tyree, who died unexpectedly last year. Cranes last month initially reported the paper was in talks about a sale. Well, another deal making headlines today, this one in real estate, and it's a tale of how one developer is taking advantage of another's misfortune. Centrum Properties is teaming up with longtime partner Angelo Gordon to snap up West Town Center in Wicker Park. We don't know the price tag, but one person pegged it between $33 and $35 million. The office retail complex was recently seized from Joseph Fried by Bank of America. And Centrum has had trouble of its own, recently selling Roosevelt Collection in the South Loop in a short sale, one of the biggest distressed deals of the year. A Fried spokeswoman declines to comment on the West Town sale. Well, a new report shows local home sales rose in November from a year ago. The Illinois Association of Realtors says sales jumped more than 14 percent in the area. The median price, though, fell by 14 percent to $150,000 as foreclosures are still weighing on the market. One positive sign, though, the supply of local homes on the market dropped to its lowest level since January 2010. And finally, Derek Rose agreeing to a five-year, $94 million contract extension. He made the announcement this morning at a news conference at the Birdo Center. According to the Tribune, the extension is for about $10 to $11 million more than Rose would have been eligible for under the previous collective bargaining agreement. The newly nicknamed Derek Rose rule rewards players who outperform their rookie scale contracts. And Rose qualifies because he was named most valuable player last season, the youngest in NBA history. Well, that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.